Hello and welcome to Alchemy Fine Living. My name is Dina and I'm one of the owners of this store located in Santa Ana, California. Here at Alchemy, my mom and I offer custom sewing of home decorative items, such as pillows like the ones that you see featured here. We also offer upholstery in a number of ways. We offer one-on-one -on -one upholstery lessons, so if you're interested in learning the skills of upholstery, stop by the store anytime to schedule a class with us. We also offer reupholstery, so if you have an old piece of furniture that's in need of an update, stop by, drop it off, and let us completely transform it for you. The other thing we do is create custom furniture from scratch, like this headboard that you see featured behind me. We also do cornice boxes and ottomans. In this video, you'll see myself and my mom, with the help of my dad, create a headboard completely from scratch. Now that my headboard has been completely constructed, I'm ready to start upholstering it. So the first thing I'm going to do is cover it in foam using spray adhesive to stick the foam to the wood here. it's really best to use a smooth knife like this. A serrated one will just kind of chew it up and ruin your foam. And then you want to take really long smooth strokes with your knife. Now that the headboard has been completely covered in foam, I'm ready to wrap it in some batting. I'm going to use spray adhesive again to keep the batting in place while I staple it along the back side. Then I'm just going to staple it in a few spots here and there to kind of hold it in place. it is ready for fabric. So I'm just going to lay the fabric across it. This fabric has a real obvious grain in it so I want to make sure that's going straight up and, and down. I'm going to staple it at the very top and along the very bottom to hold that in place and make sure my grain is staying where I need it to. I want to pull it fairly tight not so tight as to create puckers or ripples in the fabric. Okay. Now that we've got our fabric in place, I'm going to flip it over and continue working from top to bottom and side to side, kind of making my way around the headboard. On this rounded part here, we're going to want to pull some of these strips of fabric in this direction, some of them kind of straight back, and then these ones in that direction. That way we kind of follow along the curve here. A 
Okay, now I want to cover these legs with some fabric. So I've cut out a piece just a little bit bigger than the leg. Okay, the next thing I want to do is line the back of the headboard to cover all of this ugly raw edges and leftover batting and staples to just kind of give it a, a, a really professional clean look. I'm going to be using this tack beading strip, which gives us the look of individual nail heads, but I don't have to actually do all the work of applying each nail head individually. Instead, there's an opening about every fifth bead, and that's where I'll apply my nail.